Greatest Hits Minute Working Down Under I guess you got to say it that way, yeah? <laughs> 808 on a midweek of Wednesday, the 17th of April Good morning to you and welcome to The Bright Side We are welcoming back to our studio this morning A very special guest in the form of Bye Girl MJ And of course, you might have seen her videos on YouTube You might have seen her videos on TikTok She's so fun and so educational I get so obsessed with your videos sometimes The simplest things I learn and I learn So, welcome back, uh, MJ Hi, I'm back again. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so Earth Day is happening this mm-hmm. Monday, the 22nd of April. And, uh, you know, what should we be focusing on? How can we help our climate? Well, this year's theme for Earth Day is Planet versus Plastics. And I think with the announcement of, you know, Minfu saying that we're going to focus on public hygiene, there's a lot on like waste management, clearing our trash, um, recycling our plastic, reducing our waste. So I think that's also one way where a lot of people, especially people in the society, schools, communities, households can participate. Mm. You know, the simpler things, but collectively it can make a big impact. Yeah, so true that. That's very, very true. And you know, this whole, the serious topic about global warming, climate change you know how do you actually address such very serious topics because it never ends you know mm-hmm. what I mean and engage your audience still in a way that resonates with them to tell them about these hard truths on social media you know when I create my videos I, I always keep in mind that people come to social media not to be educated to be lectured to be preached at but it's they are, they are there to be entertained oh. so I always keep that entertainment factor in mind so I may start off with a video with something funny uh, I jump scare them with my hi guys <laughs> uh, sometimes I show uh, like a more emotional visual piece mm. uh, just to capture their attention you know mm-hmm. and just um, using storytelling as a way to convey the message so it's I was thinking about how do I engage them, uh, how do I entertain them yeah. and then weaving in the facts uh, in between, you know, because if you just start off with you know, like, just outright telling them about the various facts and numbers I think people get shut off very easily. Yeah, That's because there's so much content exactly. on social media especially on TikTok, some mm-hmm. useful, a lot not so much, <laughs> but yours is definitely something we love going to time and time again, because I feel smarter Every time I watch one of your videos, it's like it's true. It's true, you know. And like, my goodness, I'm like Cheryl and um, uh, one of our former DJs here, right? As we, me and her, are still talking about the chicken video. You know, Mm -hmm. I don't wash your chicken, right? (laughs) Yeah. Every time when I I'm with prepping chicken, I'll think of that video. (laughs) My face will pop out at the side. Yeah, that's how how your words haunt us. (laughs) Hey guys, we're live on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash one fm nine one three. Come join us there. Uh, MJ, what are your handles on social media do you mind sharing oh so my channel is called just keep thinking Mm -hmm. um on instagram is at just keep thinking sg because the former got taken so (laughs) okay and it's true you do keep us thinking all the time thinking on our toes as well so uh while we get you some music and traffic go check out her videos or come join us on facebook as well back with more of mj in a bit This is the gorgeous MJ, the very smart MJ, the smiley, cheery MJ. Hey, (laughs) I'm back. So, you know, recently, Mm -hmm. uh, actually, this came up in the newspaper today about Mm -hmm. how investing in nature is key to solving the climate change. You know, they said that if the more we invest in nature, it actually can result in like millions of jobs. Wow. Uh, The exact number was actually given 390 million jobs by 2030. And money wise, it can be an investment that can unlock about U.S. $10.1 $10.1 trillion. So? Dollars. How so? I guess, you know, the the key messaging here is that really, if you invest in nature, it gives back to you, mm. right? So mm. you attended the conference that this article was mentioning mm-hmm. about. And how is that like? You know, the conference is like an annual conference, you know, by Tomasic, and it's called Eco Sparity. So um, it's focusing a lot on corporates. But I think that's a draw for me because I'm very interested to see, I mean, not just me, whoever who attends the conference, to see how money can be mobilized in a way that will help conservation, help the climate, help nature, and um, how can private companies play an important role along with, you know, the government sector. So, yes, I think that was the gist of the conference this year. And yeah, it's interesting to see how nature is starting to get more of the central stage. Yeah, I mean, it has come to the forefront, but you do you think companies are doing enough? <laughs> oh no, that's a tough one. Um, I think they are, they are not motivated to do more in this space because, and that's why we are having this conversation, right? How can we make it um, 
uh, in a way that companies are willing to invest and that's that, I mean money makes the world go around yeah so unfortunately or fortunately right if there's a way to make nature and have a mechanism in a way that people can earn money from it but it's a win-win situation where the climate and the environment earns from it then that is a uh, that's a very big potential solution. So we are trying to find ways to work towards that. So I think it's about giving the right incentive and motivation mm-hmm. for the companies yeah. to put where the money is supposed to be going. Because I think the conference, you know, so this article in the Straight Times, do go and check it out. I think companies or corporations used to see like, oh, anything like helping the earth, global mm. warming, it's a cost. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a cost that why do we have to take mm-hmm. it on, right? But if they see in this way that it's an investment that will reap you the money back I think it's really talking the talk that they understand yeah I just think sometimes the ROI isn't so obvious it's not in their yeah. face mm, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, not yeah. immediate yeah. and it's not as visible mm, mm. <laughs> what are some examples that some companies are talking about of uh, well there are a few carbon projects um, I mean for biodiversity projects it's a little bit um, still at the nascent stage mm-hmm. but they are modeling a lot of the carbon projects that's existing now mm-hmm. so I mean in Singapore we we, we have stuff but we don't have like at scale like large forests to uh, protect or like yeah. people want to invest in our forests so what we do is like we go to um, forests or ecosystems in other countries mm-hmm. so we provide them with funding and technology mm-hmm. to help them um, conserve the ecosystem and in return they will you know give back in, term, in form of carbon credits which can help to mitigate our own carbon emissions so yeah. we will reach our goal so it's a uh, it's really a big collaboration as a win-win for both countries can you quickly explain how the carbon credits work Ah, okay. Because we have had people driving <laughs> from Europe to Singapore and they said, you know, that's a lot of fuel, right? But yeah, said, oh, yeah. we bought common credits to offset it. Yes, what does yes. that mean? <sighs> it's a contentious topic, but in, in the most simplest form, mm-hmm. uh, I mean, some countries, especially like Singapore, there's, uh, we don't have enough like trees or resources to capture as much carbon right so how are we going to reach our targets Um, and one way to do so is to purchase carbon credits from other countries who have the ability to do so when they have like large lands and full of forests or maybe even mangroves yeah so um, every time that uh, the the projects can be in various forms you can either pay them to you know prevent an area from being chopped down Mm. or you can pay them to plant more trees or more mangroves restore biodiversity and when they do that uh, you generate credits so you know, every tree is like you know ten. I'm, I'm not sure how much carbon you know. But, but for example, ten, uh, like, 10, like 10, ten units, oh, you know, okay, and then okay. that ten units will be transferred to Singapore, mm. uh, and then we can use it to you know achieve our climate goals because ah. we have a goal to reach. But that's really good to know that there's actual impactful mm. uh, results coming yeah. from buying this carbon credit. I thought it says okay, like I buy, you sell. Then mm. buy it's kind of like money. you know some products. So you buy this product and we'll plant a tree. Yeah, yes, yes, something, yes, like yes. something like that. Something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. All okay. makes sense. All right, we're gonna come back live on air. So do join us there as we continue our chat with a very fascinating, very enduring bio <laughs> MJ. Yay. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Keep it right here. It's one FM ninety one point three. MJ, say yes. Yes. <laughs> That's Chet. Are you going to be my girl? Directed at Biogol MJ, who's joining us here in the studio this Wednesday in the lead up to Earth Day. It's happening on Monday, the 22nd of April. You know, talking about Jet, just yesterday we were talking about the story of uh, this company in Europe called Firefly. And they found a way to actually harness human feces <gasps> yes. and turn that into jet fuel. Yeah. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Mm. that human that feces? Ooh. Yeah. I hear, mean, they whatever. Found a way works. to convert that to uh, jet fuel. Ah, yeah, okay, 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 like okay. Five hundred twenty-five thousand tons, and this is something that can actually uh, be used for the next fifteen years. It's called Wizz Air. Mm. <laughs> this airline, <laughs> it's a low-cost, sustainable airline, and uh, they've resorted to that. Yeah, do you think? Have you seen the possibility of that? Uh, I have. So I mean, oh. for jet fuels, I mean they they use biofuel. So anything that comes from you know organic matter. Mm. Yeah, but hearing we're, we're using feces is, it's new for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're all just wondering what that's going to smell like. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but whatever works, man. Whatever I know, works. they should be paying us to sit on their planes. <laughs> you know what? Every time since you told me yesterday, Ren, when I sit on the throne, I'm like, I'm just doing my part for air travel. <laughs> you know, gosh. 
<laughs> no, really, really. I really do wish someone would kind of do more with that. I'm Ooh. sure it's an untapped resource, right? Okay. <laughs> anyway, hey, join us live on Facebook, facebook.com slash 1FM913 as we continue our chat with Bio Girl MJ. Now, as we celebrate Earth Day, you know, uh, MJ, can you provide some insights to some meaningful ways that we as individuals can take to move towards a more sustainable lifestyle based on, you know, your expertise and your experience? Hmm. I think I think we get that question a lot, and some people might say, you know, like how can individual actions help? Yeah. So I mean, the usual things, um, just you know, saving water, saving energy, um, using your reusables. These are small actions that leads to is that it's important to create a culture in Singapore, which I think is has been lacking for the longest time. Okay. Yeah. So that that is important for education, for outreach, but also um some of the ways that we can actually make even a bigger impact. It's mm-hmm. through our actions and through the decisions that we make. So um, I feel like you know consumers when we make a decision to go more eco friendly, eco conscious, it's a signal to the bigger companies out there, and that's how ah. I see things. Yeah, yeah. That is very interesting. So the individual could really impact and influence the mm. companies and brands to actually do more and be you know more green. Even mm. it's win win for all. What area do you think Singaporeans could improve on ah. when it comes to sustainability and green living? Ah. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> plastic bag. <laughs> I mean, plastic bag, now, now we charge it, you know, money always works for Singaporeans, I guess. Um, I think our waste management is still something that we are struggling to tackle. Mm-hmm. Tackle, as you can see, right? Um, the recycling is not exactly the best in Singapore. And I think that's uh, there's a lot to be done there. I think it's a it's a whole systematic issue. Yeah. So, so well, education is one, but it's, uh, you know, how the way of our, how our waste is structured is another problem. But also, um, reducing waste is very important. Mm-hmm. Hence, instead of, you know, thinking of recycling, I think we talk a lot about recycling, but, you know, I always tell people that reducing waste is very important because if you don't have waste to begin with, mm-hmm. you don't have to worry about the recycling and the recycling process can be very intensive. Oh, true, yeah, so always moving towards a zero waste lifestyle will be the best option. So how do we reduce our waste? I mean, the first thing that pops to mind are all these boxes that come with all our Shane and our Shoppies and our lasagna mm. there's a lot of packaging there oh yes so for online shopping that's a very big issue so if we cannot reduce our waste I mean um, one way is to either reuse or recycle so there's a hierarchy yeah yeah. but for the mass we can that's why that's, which is why I like the plastic bag charge because it actually stops people from getting yeah. more plastic bags you reduce immediately exactly the amount yeah used, right? so you know things you know like plastic straws I don't even like I don't even have a reusable straw I just don't use straws yeah. to begin with mm. yeah so simple than things like this it really adds up when everyone does it or a substantial amount of people but you know what with the reduction in the amount of plastic bags yeah. I see a lot more companies producing tote bags mm. there's <laughs> tote bags everywhere you go now so are we producing more <laughs> using more energy to produce the tote ah, bags right, that could right, be the right, case for some right. companies like they, they just hop on the tree. actually tote bags have been around for the longest time Yeah. so it's um, now there's new initiatives where um, in, di- in, on, in different supermarkets mm-hmm. they actually have have like a section where you can leave your tote yeah. bags yeah or like a sturdy paper bag and I thought that was great because you know we all have a lot of tote bags that's but true. with that you can actually pass it on to someone who actually sure, needs, it. needs it I see that yeah. in the library and that's really brilliant because yeah. like, I go to the library I got three boys suddenly I'm with like 25 books and I'm like oh dear yeah. <laughs> NTUC yeah. Finest at Parkway Parade they've got the plastic bag donation mm, thing nice. I've had to use it before oh, to nice, save money nice, on nice. plastic bag yeah, yeah. So no, it's great right <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. heading back over to Facebook Live for our chat with Bio Girl MJ come join us if you have any questions Questions, drop them through via WhatsApp 88550913 or as a comment on our Facebook live stream. For now, though, it's Robbie Williams and Supreme on 1FM. Hello! Look at you. Anything you want to ask us? I feel like we've been asking you a lot of questions. <laughs> yeah, Bye, yeah. Bro. Quizzes on like how environmentally conscious you are. Hey, you've done so much. Uh, you know, you've traveled, you've done a lot of videos. Can you share with us one of your most rewarding moments as an online educator? Mm, oh, there's so many rewarding moments. Okay, okay, but there's there's a few that I can share. So um, there, there's there's a girl that you know I always use her as an example how you know one person can really create more impact. So 
Um, she watches my videos and she she comes from some of my walks and this happened like three years ago. Yeah, but because she was so inspired by what she has learned and she wanted to share it with her friends, uh, she actually created her own nature club in her oh. primary school because her <gasps> primary school didn't have one. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I and I actually did her first lesson. It was really cute. It was through Zoom and with her five of her friends. What? But what? Yeah! Oh, that's cute. so cute! That is really, really cute! It was the moment where I realized like, oh, I'm becoming somebody's role model, somebody's inspiration. It is a very meaningful position to be in. What's her name? Uh, her name is Naomi. Naomi, are you Hi, watching? Naomi. I don't know if yeah. you're watching. Hey, what well a sweet done. heart. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. They're actually taking actual steps, you know, yeah. towards their passion and interest. MJ, pat on the back. Oh, pat thank you. Back. Many pets on the back. Yeah. Yeah. More, more claps, more claps. Everyone is on the back. Massage, massage. Don't turn it to me. I was going to stop at claps, but okay. 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 Hey, but you know, uh, last year, I mean, mm-hmm. this is going to sidetrack a little bit, uh, but last year you actually went to the Antarctica. You shared about the incredible journey. I was shutting it for off air, right? And uh, guess where she's heading to next? Topayo. The what? You're already here. Okay. <laughs> you shouldn't. Uh, oh, what? All the way from the east. <laughs> She's uh, next year, right? You're going to. This is a huge place. That, oh, mm. okay. oh, hopefully, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. Like I said, the, the location is is revealed already. So. Oh, where no, la? we didn't. Did we reveal the? It's not the bio, la, You know, it's not Yishun. It's not Woodlands. <laughs> Oh, as in uh, the, the global announcements already there. So. Oh, Antarctica, so yeah, UN. No, okay, Tanzania. Wait, so it's Zania? been announced. Where yes. are you going? Uh, I, I mean, next year, hopefully, um, I will be able to attend the, the climate change conference, which is at Brazil. Yeah, and it's where the Amazon rainforests are. Um, and hopefully, oh. there's a huge focus on agriculture and also nature. So, do you um, think you're going to make a side trip and then, like, go and explore the, hey, the Amazon jungle? Well, should I, give, should I be given the opportunity to go? I'll definitely... 100% Like yeah. it's Brazil Come on mm. yeah. Of course you gotta do A little bit of exploration mm. Might give you ideas as well You know Appreciate more of Brazil Wow So when is this happening? Uh, th- this will be Next year Yeah So mm. this year The conference happening In some other country Okay So next year Is like a bigger conference That's happening In Brazil Okay uh, You had an Earthshot Prize Ceremony as well With yes. uh, Prince William Oh yes What was yeah. that like? Um, that was pretty amazing to see Will- Prince William in the in the flesh and bones. But we were more excited for Robert Owen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah! Like he took the limelight. Like uh-huh. Prince William was like, "Yeah!" Then Robert was like, "Whoa!" Like, <laughs> but he's single now. Oh yeah, but yeah. He, he came with a girlfriend. But now, girlfriend. now no more. Oh, yeah, no, no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got chance. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> You want, you want? Yeah. Anybody want? <laughs> Anybody what? Anyone? <laughs> can you drop him a DM? Me, yeah. <laughs> like you have control. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's in my mind. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit Delulu up in there. Alrighty, we're heading on uh, back to our live broadcast to wrap up our session with Bio Girl MJ. Any questions, please drop them over as a comment here on Facebook this morning. I want to say good morning to Alun and David Lim. Supreme Robbie Williams here on the bright side. Hey, good morning to you. Our chat continues with Bio Girl MJ. Um, and just to wrap up the session, how do you see the role of online media platforms like TikTok, you know, driving a sort of like collective action towards uh, sustainability goals? Well, I think, you know, social media platforms such as TikTok um, is where I started. And I never knew that, you know, I could grow to such a following where people actually enjoy educational content and they get the message and they are even inspired to do things of their own. So yeah, you were telling us about Naomi, yes, your young exactly. viewer yeah. who actually started her own little science club as well. Mm. It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, it's got a yeah. knock-on effect. It's very cute, yeah. And if you think about, you know, how now plastic straws are a little bit difficult to find because all the big companies are not... Having it, and it's mm. due to that one viral video of you know the the, the straw coming out of the turtle's yes. head. Yeah. So that. you know, yeah. like media plays such a big role because it has uh, you can you know you can reach out to anyone anywhere in the world. You know, and uh, as long as we storytell it right and we manage to you know shake some emotions and inspire people, right? I think mm. it can really lead to big movements around the world. And you are doing your part to create, you know, yeah. this big movement on our planet starting here in Singapore. Thank you so much for the great work that you're doing, Bio Girl. Ooh, thank you for having me. We love your <laughs> social media platforms on mm. YouTube, on social media, on TikTok. Just keep thinking. If you haven't already seen her videos, you want to head over to TikTok and YouTube to check it out. Uh, such fun, such fun videos. And I'm thinking, you know, you're probably so inspired by that straw and the turtle and you're thinking of other fun creative 
creative ways that will catch people's attention, right? Yes, all the time. All right. <laughs> hey, three tips for Singaporeans as we approach Earth Day. <gasps> um, support sustainable business. Mm-hmm. That's number one. Um, eat sustainably. Mm. That's number two. What does that mean? What does that mean? Eat sustainably. So I mean, like, I'm you know, there's there's a lot talk about meat right but actually somehow sometimes your food like avocados mm. they actually come all the way from Brazil they take a lot of water so it's about thinking more of how much resources it takes to grow the food okay yeah oh. so that's why I, I'm not like you know like anti anti meat but it's more just so you just don't eat, eat avocados no uh, smash avocado actually smash. I don't really like avocado too hey, hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> not sure if we can be friends now but oh, yeah, right? oh, no, oh, oh. no I mean you, but the earth is doing better okay yeah. <laughs> okay eat sustainably and then moving on ah, to last but not least ah, this is one thing that I really like like half flush your toilet ah. it actually says like 33% of your water so that's, that's really a lot of water being saved producer love- Joel is that something you can do half flush your toilet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, the gauntlet has been thrown. Let's all do our part to save this planet and to improve the life for both humans and animals. Okay, thank you so much, Bargle MJ. Yeah, it's been so awesome. Come back soon. All right. Okay. Good time. Greatest hit. One FM ninety one